Right, welcome along guys. We've just come out there of a GT3 Challenge race at the wonderful Daytona Road. Uh, 2.6k strength of field on this one. We were car number 9, qualified, not well, P14. Um, now the goal on this one was just safety rating. I wanted to claw back a little bit of safety rating. But I've ended up having one of the best racers that I've ever been involved in on iRacing. Uh, I managed to get the fastest lap of the race as well on this one, a 44.3, which is pretty good for me, especially as it's a fixed setup race. So if you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of this sort of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Right, let's get into it. About to go green. Stay focused. Here we go then, GT3 Challenge, Daytona Road. Pace car is off. Green, green, green. So our eye ratings took a bit of a dive, as has our safety rating, but I'm only really interested in the safety rating on this one, so I'm going to back out of everything. Left side. Clear, left side. Sure, right, right, right. Right. Car on your left. Clear on the left. And that's why. So I'm probably just about where I started anyway. Let the heroes Let's get on with it. Car on the left. Car stop on the left. Go right. You got a slow car on the right. Left side. Wow. It's a block and a half as well, isn't it, in front? So I don't know how many people caught up in all that are still running. If they are, they've got damage. You would suspect, so we may pick up a couple of spots based on that. Guy taking a slow down up there. He's keeping his foot in it, so it's a strange line if he is. Uh, sorry, it's a strange line if he isn't. No, he's come from P6, I think, so. One, well, minute, 58.916. Car on your left. Clear. The guy's in front of me now is the guy who was in front of me on the grid, I think. So it looks like we're P13, does it? 14, maybe? Twenty in the red by the looks of it, that may change as this guy's jumped me, so probably 25, 30 in the red. But like I said, it's not an issue. Safety rating's the goal here. If we can do anything in the later stages, then we'll have a look. One minute, 46. I 
won't make that worse than it already is. Car on your left. Have a look at that. Oh. Keep to the right. Stay on the right. Clear. So he was always going to compromise his exit speed there by staying tight. Left the door wide open though, wasn't even trying to make a move there and he left it wide open, so... So we'll see how he does behind me now in the draft. The second part after the chicane, it looked like he didn't have the top top end speed. He obviously had the inside line on the banking, so he should have been quicker. So we'll see. We've got no draft from Tony ahead. He's gonna have a look. Clear. Keep doing that all day, or we can try and catch the guys ahead. If he's sensible, that'll be uh, the end of it. If we can keep this gap though, we should have a little bit of draft from Tony, which will make it easier. So I've ramped my graphics up a little bit. And only a little bit, I just enabled crowds, I've normally got them turned off. Um, I just wanted to push it a little bit, see if the PC can handle it. I have just ordered some new RAM. I believe the P-Bar, which you guys can't see, it's over on this screen, but the P-Bar is maxed out whenever I'm recording in OBS. I believe that's referring to Ram. It would make sense, there's a lot going on with everything that's running. Same stuff like that. And I've only got 16 gig of RAM in there, so... So, Chris might have a run on me here, see what he does. We'll put him to the outside. Looks like he's got a bit of damage actually, so... One minute, push five, point four, two, five, right side, clear on the right.
bit of a slide there, back end stepping out a little bit. Might give Chris a chance, but again, we've got the draft ahead. Ten in the green now, I rate. Still 0x. So far, so good. So I think we had a better exit than Chris, but obviously the draft will close that gap down again. Jesus. Snapped on me there violently. We'll probably lose the position at the bus stop to Chris, but I'm just happy to have kept that on track to be honest. Uh, he's cost himself there. I think he might have. Um, I thought he might have stuck it around the outside because I gave it up the last time. Let him have it. So I get the run out. I assumed he was going to think I was going to do the same again. So at least this allows me to take the quicker line into turn one. Work for me anywhere. Just couldn't get it slowed down enough. That's a good exit, that. Traction control not stepping in. Got the braking done just about right. You can see the advantage it's given me.
Thanks so again. Checking up there, see if I had to slow down. Really good exit. So there's no worse for these guys ahead. Battling amongst yourselves all race, and then the guy behind comes and gets involved. And that's me. So we'll see if we can put a bit of pressure on. Force a mistake, maybe. Get a little spicy. You have about five laps of fuel left. He won't want to stay over there too long because he'll know I'll tuck in. Keep to the left. 
clear. Left side. Keep to the right. We'll have to give it up. Close. Right enough. Right side. You're on the left. Three wide. <laughs> <laughs> There's the flag. It's I don't know where we ended up there. Good job. Very good job. <sighs> wow. Zero X as well. Right, there we go. Just snuck one in on Tony there in the end. Really pleased with that below the apron. A little bit naughty, but yeah, really good race. Great fun. Managed to avoid all that drama at the start. Get myself into positive eye rating towards the end and bring home the Zero X. So yeah, really pleased with that race. So if you like the video, guys, uh, give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, then you'd be doing me a massive favour by clicking that subscribe button. Right, cheers, guys. We'll see you on the next one.